This video is dedicated to the most commonly misunderstood fruits of all times, the banana. And this humble fruit appears at the top of the list of foods to avoid if you are trying to lose weight or following a low carb or keto diet and has somehow earned a bad reputation over time. But this could not be further from the truth. And if you are interested in this, we recommend you to stick around until the end of the video. How are bananas good for you? Coming up. This video is brought to you by Good Health Corner. At Good Health Corner, we bring research health information in a simplified manner that is easy to understand. If you like what you see here, we request you to support us by clicking the like, subscribe and the bell icon. As this will ensure that you get notified every time we release a new video. Disclaimer: The health statements made in this video and the site are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure or prevent any disease. They are solely for information purposes. Always consult your doctor before implementing any treatment protocol. Now coming back to the topic, available all year round and very affordable, this fruit truly deserves a position as a superfood. The thick outer peel protects it from environmental factors, especially chemical and pesticide contamination, making it a nutritious and safe fruit to be included in your diet. And despite being packed with nutrients, most people often avoid it due to the perception around it. It is considered high in sugar, carbohydrates and in general a high calorie food to be avoided by anyone trying to lose weight. And the question is, is that really true? So let's understand some facts before we jump to any conclusions. Let's understand the nutritional facts about bananas. A medium sized yellow banana has approximately 105 calories. And the bigger the size, the calorie content would be accordingly higher. Though probably at the higher end of calorie content among fruits, however, it also packs major nutritional benefits and a good source of dietary fiber. A very good source of carbohydrates, potassium, magnesium, vitamin B6 and dietary fiber. So the question that comes to mind next is about the high carbohydrate content in bananas and if carbs are really good for you, especially if you are trying to lose weight. To determine if carbs in bananas are good or bad, let us understand a few basic facts about carbohydrates. What are carbohydrates and what are the different types? Carbohydrates are the main source of fuel for the body and the brain. And they are broken down in the liver into glucose used by the body as energy to perform all body functions. And glucose that is not used by the body is stored by the body in the form of fat. The body processes all carbs in the same way. To understand if a carb is healthy or unhealthy, it would depend upon its glycemic index or called the GI and glycemic load or GL and the amount of fiber and nutrient it contains. The glycemic index measures how quickly any food source raises the blood glucose levels. Low glycemic index carbohydrates are slowly digested, absorbed and metabolized, causing a much lower and slower rise in blood glucose levels. In general, a GI of 55 or less is considered good. A GI of 56 to 69 is considered medium or okay and a GI of 70 or higher is considered to be high. Glycemic load on the other hand is a measure that takes into account both the glycemic index and the quantity of carbohydrate that's in the food. And to calculate the glycemic load, we simply multiply the GI by the quantity of carbohydrate the food contains per serving and divide it by 100. A GL of 10 or less is considered good. A GL of 11 to 19 is considered medium or okay and 20 or ha is considered high. To put this into perspective, fruits in general would have a low GI and low GL. And this is because they contain sugar but also have high fiber content and usually low GL as well due to the total carb content being low. So the obvious question is what is the GI and GL of bananas? Bananas have very low GI of 51 but the GL becomes an important aspect to consider. A small banana would have a GL of about 11, whereas a large banana could be close to 22. And hence, consuming bananas in limited quantity has great health benefits, but consuming too many in a day could increase overall calorie intake, cause weight gain and increase blood sugar levels. So, it is advisable to consume bananas in limited quantities especially if you are trying to lose weight or suffering from diabetes. Now let's understand what are the different types of bananas. The GI and GL scores differ significantly for different types of bananas. Surprising yes, but important to understand why. Green Bananas Green or unripe bananas have a significantly different GI and GL profile compared to the ripe yellow variety. And they score low on both with a GI of 30 and a GL of 8. 
A very important property of green bananas is the presence of resistant starch up to 70% of its total composition. Resistant starch is not digested or converted into glucose. Instead, it works as an insoluble fiber that feeds the good bacteria in the gut and promotes digestive health. And green bananas are also great for gut health as they contain pectin, a type of dietary fiber that helps with bowel movements and prevents constipation. Yellow bananas The process of ripening that converts green bananas into yellow causes a lot of resistant starch to break down and convert into simple sugar. And hence, they have a higher GI of 51 and a GL of 11 compared to the green variety. But, yellow bananas contain more antioxidants compared to the green ones. As yellow bananas ripen further, brown spot starts to appear till the outer peel turns completely brown. And this brown spot indicates that more and more of the starch is getting converted into sugar and increases the antioxidant property of the banana as well. Brown banana would have the highest antioxidant property but it is also very high in simple sugar and must be avoided by people suffering from diabetes. Plantains Plantains come from the same family as bananas but are bigger in size and originate from Asia. They are the same in terms of nutritional profile as bananas but tend to be higher in calories around 115 calories due to their size and also have a higher amount of carbohydrates from starch rather than sugar unlike yellow bananas. Now let's understand what are the health benefits of bananas. Truly a superfood, bananas are power packed with nutrients and have tremendous health benefits. Number 1. Excellent source of energy Packed with 100 calories per medium sized banana, it is a great source of energy. They provide carbohydrates as a source of energy to the body but without any cholesterol or fat. An excellent option for a healthy snack between meals or a pre-workout snack. And fantastic for athletes as the high mineral and vitamin content help to replenish the electrolytes lost during intensive training and boost athletic performance. Number 2. Great source of vitamin B6 Bananas are among the best sources of vitamin B6 with one medium banana providing 20% of the required dietary intake. And vitamin B6 is very important for the body as it helps to perform many critical functions such as detoxifying the liver and kidneys, aiding in fat and carbohydrate metabolism, supporting the nervous system, assisting in the production of red blood cells, synthesizing amino acids and protein absorption. And lastly, it is also essential for pregnant women as it helps in fetal development. Number 3. Excellent Source of Potassium Bananas are one of the best natural sources of potassium and one medium banana provides 10% of the daily potassium needs of our body. And potassium is the third most abandoned mineral in our body and deficiency of this mineral is linked to many health conditions. It is classified as an electrolyte as it is highly reactive in water and produces positively charged ions when dissolved in water. And due to this property it performs various important functions in the body. And here are some of them. Maintaining fluid balance in the body. Fluid balance in the body, that is the right amount of fluid within our cells and outside them, is regulated by electrolytes. And potassium being an electrolyte helps to maintain this balance and prevent dehydration. Potassium is particularly important for athletes who are more at risk of dehydration caused by fluid loss during intensive trainings. Supports the nervous system. Potassium plays a critical role in creating nerve impulses that relay messages from the cells to the brain. And these nerve impulses help in regulating muscle movements, heartbeat, reflexes and many other functions. So, getting enough potassium is important for the proper functioning of the nervous system. Helps to control blood pressure. Adequate potassium in our diet can reduce the risk of high blood pressure by eliminating excess sodium from the body. Number 4. Good source of vitamin C and manganese. Bananas are good sources of vitamin C and manganese, providing 14% of RDI respectively. Vitamin C is needed by the body for various functions like scavenging free radicals, protecting against cell and tissue damage and helping in ion absorption. It also stimulates collagen production as collagen is the basic building block of our skin and is the protein that is the most important component of our skin. And hence vitamin C is a potent anti-aging ingredient. Manganese found in bananas are also great for collagen production and finds the signs of aging by its antioxidant effect. Number 5 aids digestion and supports gut health. One of the less known but probably the most unique properties of bananas, particularly green bananas, is their amazing prebiotic benefits. Prebiotics are a type of fiber that our body does not digest but travels through the small intestine undigested and is fermented when it reaches the large colon. And this fermentation process feeds the beneficial bacterial colonies and helps to increase the number of good bacteria in the gut. 
Or in other words, prebiotic is a food source for the good bacteria in your intestinal tract and helps to maintain the balance of gut flora. Green bananas contain high amounts of resistant starch and pectin that works as prebiotics and helps to maintain optimum gut health. And they also help to prevent constipation, leaky gut, stomach ulcers and digestive discomforts. So to sum up, overall bananas are great to include in your diet for all amazing benefits they provide. And all in all, bananas truly deserve to belong to the superfood category and both green and yellow bananas are a must-have in your diet. And it can be eaten as a healthy snack between meals or a pre-workout snack. Add to your unsweetened breakfast cereal to make it naturally sweet, tastes great with peanut butter on a wholemeal toast for a power-packed breakfast or add to a smoothie in place of added sugar. Cut into halves, insert an ice cream stick, dip into chocolate sauce and freeze to make a healthy alternative to ice creams for kids. One word of caution. If you're diabetic, consult your doctor to make sure bananas are safe for you, as they're usually best avoided to prevent any spikes in sugar levels for people who are diabetic. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more such videos, we recommend you to subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this. A little bit of encouragement from you will go a long way for us. Thank you and we hope to see you again. Bye for now.